Um, go to Game Master 500 again, or uh, just a parry. But I'm gonna show you how to fix your internet issue on Xbox One or Xbox One S or Xbox One X. Right here, I'm using the Xbox One X, and uh, the. This is a simple fix uh, on your internet issue. If you have internet issue on Wi-Fi, this is how you fix it. It's different if you have it wired, because for some reason if you have it wired, it works uh, fine 100% wired. Wi-Fi, which is wireless, is where you have major issues and you'll get disconnected. So you can see I'm online uh, right here permanently. Make sure you connect yourself to the internet, even if you get disconnected for no reason and you're having a bunch of issues. Now this will fix it, even if you're having that type of issue, it'll fix it so that you stay online still with even if that type is not working connect correctly. The that type's not working correctly on me yet, I'm online still. Someone mentioned this in xbox.com forums a long time ago how to fix this and people are ignoring him and he was the only person that mentioned how to fix this and I didn't want to do it but it fixed it so I'm going to show you so what you want to do is go to system settings and then when you're in system settings go to power up and start up and then go to power mode and start up now you want to change it to energy saving. I didn't want to do that because it, it loads the system slow. But apparently it'll fix the internet issue because the other setting, which is uh, instant on, apparently that uh, fucks up the internet issue on your Xbox One systems during Wi-Fi. Because what's happening with instant on apparently is it's making it to where your system overheats. Permanent. Your system will overheat if it's on instant on. That it'll also make it to where you get disconnected on Wi-Fi non-stop. And that doesn't fix the issue. You'll even have NAT type issue. So I'm going to show you the NAT type I'm on. It may say open, it may not, but you'll see. See, it says moderate on mine, yet I'm still online, and I got two bars, but I shouldn't have two bars. The reason why I have two bars is because the NAT type here. So, yeah, the NAT type is making it to where I have two bars, but yet I have extremely good internet connection. So, like I said, um, go to system settings and go to power up and start up. Go to power mode and start up. Change it from instant on to energy saving. And once it's on energy saving, it's going to ask you if you want to permanently turn the whole system off. Yes, turn the whole thing off, then turn it back on and test your internet connection. After it comes back on, it'll go slow at first. Let So let it load it and it'll go slow. So, so be patient and... You may have some internet issues still, but leave it on energy saving. And after a while, when you keep getting on your Xbox One systems, it'll take a while, trust me. It took me a while and I was still having issues, but after leaving it on energy saving for like a few days or something, it fixed it and I was able to permanently stay online. Now, the only time you should do instant on... If you, is if you have your system hooked to your internet modem directly and was and you are doing wired internet connection then do instant on and you'll have no issue then but if you're doing Wi-Fi you need to put it on energy saving and then you won't have any issues at all you'll be able to do whatever you want during Wi-Fi on that so trust me it fixed my issue, and I'm able to do anything I want on the system now. Just thought I'd show you this, people. So if you have any questions, 
let me know if you're still having issues let me know and I'll try to see what I could do to fix it but like I said it may take a few days or a week or something it'll take a while during energy saving mode for it to get used to doing Wi-Fi but it'll work trust me because I as you can tell like I said I'm online I'll show proof again see I'm online you can see that here's more example like look see it's loading everything I'm not having any internet issues see now the only issue that other issue you'll have sometimes is when you go to um, the Microsoft Store or Windows Store that because it's not called the Xbox Live Marketplace anymore. It's called uh, the Microsoft or Windows Store now after a new system update. If you go there, you may have some issues, but you should be able to download and do whatever still on there. But other than that, um, you should be fine. See, I'm not having any issues. I can even show you through um, my achievements that I'm not having issues. See, no issues at all. It's working fine. Now, let's go to um, the leaderboard on the game score, and you'll see. See, no issues. I'm not having any issues at all. So, yeah. I'll even show you um, through um, here. When I go uh, in here and I go to my profile, you'll see. See, it loads slow, but it, it's getting there. I'm online. This is, it's just having a little issue, but it's working. Uh, Hitman. Ah. Uh. Okay, and I'll show you through Netflix that I'm not having issues on Netflix. As another example. Netflix. You'll see that I'm not having issues through Netflix. God damn, I hate that sound. Now, we're going to do uh, the Magic School Bus real quick so that I can show you I'm not having issues. And yes, I watched the Magic School Bus. So we're going to let it go through the intro on it. The Magic School Bus is my childhood. So get used to it. Okay, that is it. See, I didn't have any issues. I didn't get disconnected. Okay, I'm going to exit this app now. Now, I will show you on a an Xbox 360 game.
because usually you get disconnected from an Xbox 360 game. From that type, I'm going to show you that I'm not going to get disconnected from it while in a power saving mode. And we're going to do it on uh, Sonic and Knuckles because that's where I usually get disconnected on. And you'll see I won't get disconnected at all. <laughs> see, I'm not disconnected at all. Usually, I would be from the leaderboards and shit. So, yeah, look. Full proof here, I'm not disconnected. See? I ain't disconnected or anything. It's working fine. So now I'm going to exit the game. Because I don't need to be in it. But, yeah, as you can see, I'm not disconnected. Everything's working. So, like I said... You need to um, put it on energy saving mode and it'll fix your issue and you won't get disconnected. Now, I'll show you on Onigiki. It's a, a fun game on Xbox One. You can play it on PlayStation 4 and PC 2. So I'm going to show you Onigiki. That'll be the last one that you'll see I won't get disconnected on. After that, you'll see it's foolproof. It may load slow. Like I said, it's going to load slow. If you have it on instant on in energy saving, it will load fast. But it, it's worth it if you want to stay online. And I'd rather stay online on my system because I paid to do shit on it. Well, actually, my dad and mom paid for this, the One X. I didn't even buy it. Log in. multiplayer mode see it's loading a bit slow but hey if you're online it's better than nothing because you're online see no internet issues I wonder if my friend's online right now. He might be not be. So only buddies. Yep, he's not online. I met him today and he's new to the game. Like I am, I'm still new. But as you can see, here's the level I'm at. But um, yeah, if you want to play with me and help me on the game and be friends with me on Onigiki, here's my username. So it's up to you if you want to. But yeah, see, I ain't getting disconnected. I am fa actually playing the game here. And you can see there are people online here. So yeah, see, people are online here and I'm having no issues. So yeah, you you just saw I'm not having internet issues. So let's exit the game. I don't really need to be on it much.
So yeah, there's your full proof that I am online. So, if you have any questions, or anything at all, because uh, you're having internet issues, let me know. And I promise you this is foolproof that this will fix your internet issues, even with NAT type on the Xbox One systems. This will fix your issues that you've been having. Because I've been having that type of issues and my mom did not want to call AT&T to get this fixed. Because AT&T, they're stupid people. They don't really help you at all on internet issues. They don't. Because then they're going to make you pay more for a good connection or they're going to do shit to you. And not help you at all. And they might tell you to change your internet things. No. You don't need to change the internet settings. This is how I was able to stay online. So ignore. Just do what I did. And like I said, you'll have issues for a while uh, on energy saving mode. But uh, later on, it'll get fixed. This is foolproof. It worked on me and you saw it. You even saw my NAT types on moderate. And I was able to play with people online on Onigiki and meet people on there. You saw that for a split second with no issues. You even saw me do the leaderboards with no issues. You saw me do Netflix. You saw me go to the store, mixer, all that. So if you have any questions, let me know, people. I'm going to go now. I got to go to bed. I got work tomorrow. But let me know. Also, um, my username on uh, Xbox Live, if you want to mail me for help too, if I'm not responding on YouTube, is uh, in all lowercase, Justin Perry 15 right here. Oh, sorry, I switched the camera. Right here. That's my username. So, so if you need any help, Further, with further questions on internet issues, you can um, use your phone on the Xbox app to mess me up. Anything. I will help you as much as I can. But other than that, you should not have issues. Now, if you're doing instant on, this is the last time I'm going to say instant on, where the system turns on quick, logs you in quick and shit, do it only when you, you're doing wired connection. Now, if you're doing wireless, which is Wi-Fi, do energy saving. Because apparently Instant On overheats the Xbox One systems. Energy saving, it does not overheat the system. Okay, I'm going to go. Bye, everyone. And I will make another vid later on.